What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero back again with another episode of Monster Hunter World. Thank you for joining me as always. Now, as you can see, I've been upgraded to a private quarters complete with aquarium and pets. Pets is something I didn't even know existed. But check this out. I went fishing and caught some fish and spoke to the housekeeper. And the housekeeper told me that when you capture little animals, you can actually place them as pets. So I've been very busy capturing the hare, we've got the T-Rex, we've got a vulture, we've got the bliss bill, we've got the omen fly, the paratoad, the vigor wasp, we've even got a grasshopper, and we've got a flash fly. But, I'm going to leave, yeah, we're going to leave the woodland paratix there. Then you've got the pot area, which I haven't got anything for. The tree, I've got a spider, or you can have my hercudrome, very rare bug I found in the ancient forest. Something on the ceiling, which I don't have yet. And then the aquarium, which I'll have to show you what I caught up in the aquarium. Because I caught myself a king marlin and a large tuna. And you can only have two fish at a time, but look at that marlin right there. As soon as I found out they had pets and all that kind of stuff, that's just furthered my love for this game, guys. I hope you've been enjoying the series. Masked Bandit and Cripple Plays will be joining us hopefully later on because we have to start off with a solo quest. Oh, how's it going, mate? But if you have been enjoying it, guys, smash that thumbs up button to show your support. Get on board the God Zero Nation by hitting that subscribe button. But what we're going to do here is we're going to head to the Handler, I'm pretty sure it is. She wants to go on an expedition. We're going to go check out the ridge that broke down in the last episode. Let's go on an expedition out in the Great, the Great Ravine. Ravine. We're going to go get it done. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, godzilla has got himself a brand new weapon. The Anajanth variation of the Insect Glaive. But here we go, guys. Great Ravine. Depart on the expedition. So from now on, guys, in future episodes, you will be seeing Mars Bandit, Cripple Plays, and myself trying to capture little creatures as well as taking on the big monsters. Now that we know we can capture them and put them in our room and make them our own. Just, it's, it doesn't mean anything to the game. It's more aesthetic than anything else. But still being able to do something small like that makes the game so much bigger and dynamic. It is so good. Alright, here we go. Great, we made it. Let's start by finding a way forward. That'd be a good idea. Do you like how she said great and it's the great ravine? Ah! I think we can get through if we head this way. Hey guys. Yeah, we can go this way. We can go this way. Zora Magdros went straight through. We didn't even slow it down. I'm guessing there's something pretty important on the other side. I'm hoping there's some decent beasts on the other side, because I'm keen to see what other armor and weapons we can get out of this bad boy. Look Unfortunately, guys, we went and had a look in the forge, the and there's nothing we can make from the Magdaros stuff that we found in the last episode. Which is unfortunate, but I'm hoping by the end game, we can make some armor, and I'm thinking that's what they're saving it for. Fingers crossed. We gotta be careful not to fall here. Mate, why would I fall? Think we're getting close? Yes. <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh. Coral Highlands. Well, I'm assuming this all used to be underwater. Not anymore. Raise you down there. 
Another beautiful setting for us to run around in. Oh damn, what the hell was that? <laughs> Come on, this way. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> that thing looks sick. Wake up, Godzilla. No, it just happens to be a backpacker coming through. Wonder who they are. Wonder if they're with the first as well. But that dragon, though, that looks sick. It had like a wasp thing going on. It was yellow and black and looks sweet as. Research base. I love the level designs. Capcom have just smashed it. You awake? I don't know where we are. Well, we're about to find out. Hmm. Oh, hello. You're awake. Do you remember your fall? A friend of ours found you napping in the Vale and carried you here, but more to the point. Congratulations, you found the Third Fleet. I'm their leader to the extent that still means something. And this is our research base. Our fleet consists entirely of scholars. Which fleet are you with? And how did you get here? What happened in the Great Ravine? Well, hmm. I will tell you all. Hmm, I see. So the Zora Magdaros was the latest Elder Dragon to make the crossing, and it breached the Great Ravine when you tried to capture it? Hmm. Well, I suppose after all this time, we may get to finally do what we came here for. I must say that I'm stimulated. Oh, baby. Well then, let's not waste time. We need to pick up Zora Magdaros's trail. An expedition into the Coral Highlands might be fruitful, wouldn't you agree? For obvious reasons, that is what we call the surrounding area. A nice, thorough expedition should reveal the Highland <laughs> secrets. It's a good idea, is it not? I know it's a good idea. I came up with it. Now go. Quickly. Doing a careful expedition into the Coral Highlands sounds like a good idea to me. Post haste. I think I've got everything I need actually. Can we just get straight out of here? Yes, we can. Alright, guys. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Three brand new monsters that we have not even come across yet. This is going to be good. We're going to try to track the big monsters to see what we're dealing with. We're also going to keep an eye out for the little creatures as well so we can capture them and bring them back home again. Because with an area like this, I'm sure we're going to find some unique and exotic things. Especially that big dragon that just took us on. I can't wait to see what armor we can get from that. So we're going to oh, capture... Yeah. Get our capture net ready. Nothing can stop us. Hmm. Well, straight up, there's these things here. Oh. Elegant coral bird. There you go. Can you capture these deers? Oh, no, you can't. It just hurts them. Okay, um, sorry. Sorry about that. Mm. 
about the little baby ones? Because... No, not even the baby ones. Snow herb. Get out of my way, you stupid goat. Sight a Tzeki Yaku. And search for the campsite. Okay, so that's... I don't know whether that's the thing that attacked us or not. What's with these dancing reeds? Man, this place is trippy as all hell. Look how beautiful it looks. It actually makes you feel like you're underwater, even though you're not. We should be trying to track stuff, but we're... Well, I'm not even coming across anything to track here, so... I suppose we'll just keep looking around. The conch shell. Super abalone. And choice abalone. Okay, so we've got some more cooking ingredients. That's cool. Wow. Some honey. What an incredible ecosystem. Have you ever seen anything like this? Has anyone? Come on, let's go exploring. Can we catch the jellyfish? Let's go jellyfishing. Sleep Toad. I'm going to take a guess and say they're kind of like a parrot. Yep. Puts them to sleep on impact. Very nice. See, and it's good too, guys. We get to sit back and capture some critters and actually take the world in while we're doing it. I'm going to catch another one of these birds. Seeing as how we're in the coral area, there's something that keeps popping up. They're just the typical omen fly. Yep. Okay, we can't go this way, so I don't even know why this is here. Just to troll me. But in the forge, there's... So oh, what the hell is that? That's like a bat? Yep, it's like a bat dragon. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm not here to me. Oh, what the hell's this? What the hell are these things? Can I, can I kill one? This a Rafino. Wing Drake hide. Okay, that's handy. Bones. Coral bone. Okay. I'm going to assume there's something over this way. I 
I'm just getting lost in this place. We have not gone this way yet. That was a fail. Just uh, pretend you didn't see that one, guys. Ooh, we might have found something here. Oh, there it is. It's like a velociraptor. Oh! That is going to cause us some trouble. to do any exploring because that thing is right there. Alright, we don't have to take it on. We just have to sight it. And we can't use an SOS. So I'm not going to take it on. We'll leave that for another episode when Masked Bandit and Cripple Plays can jump in because I think it's going to be more than a one-man attempt to be able to take that thing down. Now I'm going to safely assume... Okay, one would have thought the campsite would be up here, but it's not. I don't have time for your nonsense. Well, God's Nation, after a little while of hunting around, I think we found it. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. Sounds like the research base has a new guest. Want to go back and check in? And maybe grab something to eat? That's all you really want, isn't it? Actually, food sounds good. Let's do it. We gathered a fair whack. I'm actually keen to see what kind of armor we can craft from that stuff we just got. Hunter rank 6. That's what I'm talking about. Added choice abalone and fortress crab to the ingredient list for delivering deep pearls and choice abalone. Sorry if this episode dragged out a little bit more than expected, guys. The expedition episodes. As fun as they are, they are going to stretch out, but I hope you are enjoying them nonetheless. Hmm. I see that you've returned empty-handed. A shame. Hmm. Anyway, you have a visitor. Yo. Well, look who it is. My two favorite hard workers. Field team leader, you better believe it. The third fleet master here tells me you went out on an expedition in the Coral Highlands searching for Zora Magdaros clues. She also tells me there is a rotten veil way way down beneath us, which gave me an idea. If we want to be able to access the Veil, we need a means to get down there, so I propose that we resurrect 
the wrecked base. As in rigging it with balloons and reconvert it to an airship and the leader hears all for it. Oh yes, rig to your heart's content. From the air we'll be able to survey the Rotten Vale unimpeded and hopefully that's where we'll pick up Zora's trail. The airship engineer said he'll take care of the airship construction. All we need to do is deliver the goods. According to the scholars, materials from a monster called the Palamu are just the ticket. If you take care of the Palamu hunt, that'll free me up to go look for some secondary materials. Yes. Deal? Oh, and here the old man said to give this to you. It's a specialized tool made using materials from the local monsters. They had a handful of biosamples kicking around in hysteria, so they decided to put them to use. The old man said he hopes this gear helps you out in the field. You'll put it to good use, I'm going? sure. Well, let's get to it. Good luck. A glider mantle. All of this is amazing. Does that mean I can uh, float myself around? Because that'd be good. Do we have a forge here? Because I do want to forge some stuff. They've seemingly got everything else except for what I want. Okay guys, that's going to wrap this episode up anyway. I hope you did enjoy this episode. A little bit of exploring, capturing some animals, locating the new beasts. It all went down. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, Smash that thumbs up button to show your support. Get on board the God Zero Nation by hitting that subscribe button. Mask Bandit and Cripple Plays should be back in the next installment. Where we're going to be able to take on the Palamu together. Fingers crossed. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Check out my social medias, guys. Hit that notification bell. But that's it from me. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.